addressing to the believers ya ayyuhal ladina amanu so here talking about zikr what is the importance of zikr how important here mention about the zikr of quran and the zikr gives uh, like uh, like uh, calmness to your heart so ya ayyuhal ladina amanu uskuru allah zikran kaseera so here when a believers are address allah is saying remember allah with much remembrance so this is ayah number 41 surah al ahzab and in the following ayah what it is mentioned what they have to do the zikr and when they have to do the zikr they have to do kaseera much wasabahu bukratan wa asila and glorify and his praise morning and evening so what we do morning and evening we do azkar and who allazi yusalli alaykum wa malaikatuhu and he it is who sends sala on you and his angels too what he may bring you out from darknesses into the light and he is ever most merciful to the believers so he here li yukhrijakum min az-zulumati ila an-nur wakana wakana al-mu'minina rahima so here he may bring you out from the darkness of zulumat into nur into light and he is ever most merciful to the believers and i number 44 their greetings on the day they shall meet him will be salam peace and he has prepared for them a generous reward tahiyatuhum yawmal yalqawnahu salamun wa adda lahum ajran karima so the first we learn about the virtue of remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much because allah is addressing to the believers ya ayyuhal ladina amanu uzkuru allah zikran kaseera o oh, you who believe remember allah with much remembrance so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands his believing servants to remember their lord much who has bestowed upon them all kinds of blessings and favors because this will bring them a great reward and wonderful destiny imam ahmad recorded abdullah bin busar said two bedouins came to messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and one of them said o oh, messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam which of the people is best so allah's rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the one whose life is long and whose deeds are good man ta'ala umuruhu wa hasuna amalu whose life is long and also whose deeds are hasuna amal good deeds good deeds according to quran and sunnah the other one said o oh, messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the laws of islam are too many teach me something that can adhere to it yani something easy so that they can do it so he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said keep your tongue moist with the remembrance of allah may allah be exalted so what is the thing ratba zikr keep your tongue moist with allah taala so tirmidhi and ibn majah recorded the second part of this hadith tirmidhi and imam uh, ahmad recorded that abdullah bin amr may allah be pleased with him said the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no people sit together without mentioning allah but they will see that as regret on the day of resurrection you know they will do hasra on yawm al qiyama so when you are meeting when you are talking on the phone or like whenever you interact with your family and friends make sure to remember allah zikr of allah maybe a hadid a dua or a small thing about the remembrance of allah subhanahu wa taala and many times it happens you know when we talk and we end with subhanak allahumma bihamdika because that is the thing ashhadu alla ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik so the, that is the sunna way and many times when they depart uh, sahaba they used to say 
سورت العصر والعصر ان الانسان لفي خسر الا الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر بيكوز ون هاز تو دو لائک تواس و بالحق لائک سینگ گڈ تھنگس ٹو ایچ ادر دیٹ از پارٹ آف آور ریلیجن آور ریلیجن ڈز ناٹ سی او اوکے یو ڈو گڈ ڈیڈس اینڈ یو ڈونٹ ٹیل ادرس اینڈ گڈ ڈیڈس از واٹ ڈوئنگ پریئر آن ٹائم اینڈ کنیکٹنگ ریلیشنس لائک ود دا ریلیٹوز ڈوئنگ گڈ یو نو حقوق اللہ اینڈ حقوق الباد سو ہیئر وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ریمبرنس اس کر اللہ ذکرن کثیرہ Ali bin Abi Talha reported that Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, commented on the ayah, Uzkuru Allah zikran kaseera, remember Allah with much remembrance. Allah did not enjoin any duty upon his servants without setting no's limits and accepting the excuses of those who have a valid excuse. Apart from zikr, for Allah has not set any limits for it. No one has any excuse for not doing the zikr, not remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, unless he is oppressed and forced to neglect it. Yani, we all get the opportunity to do the zikr. When we are driving, when we are in the kitchen, when we are folding the clothes or anything, maybe we are feeding the kids or cooking, so on and so forth, we get the opportunity to do the zikr. And only two things mentioned here, unless he is oppressed and forced to neglect it. Somebody is enforcing you, yani they are uh, uh, like uh, enforcing and punishing you, that kind of thing. Or they are enforced to neglect it. And here nobody is doing that. Only that is the exception. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, فَاسْكُرُ اللَّهَ قِيَامٌ وَقُعُودٌ وَلَا جُنُوبِكُمْ So this is mentioned in Surah number 4, Ayah number 103. Remember Allah, standing, sitting down, lying down on your side. So, وَسْكُرُ اللَّهَ قِيَامُ وَقُودٌ وَلَا جُنُوبِكُمْ So we have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a moment, a believer. Uh, we all want to be a believer. And we want, we are slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by the night, by the day, on the land, on the sea, when we are traveling, when staying home, in richness and in poverty, in sickness and in health, in secret and open, in all situations and circumstances, we have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, وَسَبَّهُ بُكْرَةٌ وَسِيلًا Allah says, Glorify His praise morning and evening. So we do morning and evening askar. We are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after doing Fajr Salah. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starting from Aital Kursi, Mawazatain, Mawazat, like uh, three Kul Surahs and also from right from Subhanallah, He would be Hamdi to all the uh, morning, evening askar. And we are Alhamdulillah memorize it. No matter like how much busy are, we are, we, we do it. Or you can listen to I Azkar, you can keep the reminder in your phone, especially in the evening time, it, it is possible that you might neglect it or you might forget it. It's not deliberate. It's like, uh, you know, you are so much busy, it's possible. But if you keep the reminder, that would be easy. The best thing to do soon after your Asar prayer, if you do it, Alhamdulillah, that would be nice because most, most of the um, Zikr we already remember. Or many ayahs and hadith that talks about, you know, remembrance and zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, the ayah one talks about uh, in uh, surah number 30, ayah number 17 and 18. فَسُبْحَانَ hina tum suna وَهِينَ تُسْبِحُونَ وَلَهُ الْحَمْدُ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَأَشِيُّ وَهِينَ So glorify, praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you come up to the evening, when you enter the morning and uh, all praises and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the Lord of heaven and earth. And in the afternoon, when you come to the time when the day begins to decline. So who allazi yusalli alaykum wa malaykatuhu. So he, it is who sends salah on you and his angels too. So this is like encouragement to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
so he will remember you so remember who allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is like a ayah which is mentioned in surah al-baqarah number 151 and 152 kama arsalna fikum rasulam minkum yatlu alaykum ayatina wa yuzakkikum wa yuallimukum al-kitaba wal hikma wa yuallimukum ma lam takunu ta'lamun Faskuruni askurkum washkuruli wala takfurun. We have sent among you a messenger of your own reciting to you. So Rasulullah sallallahu minkum yatlu alaykum ayatina reciting to you our ayahs and purifying you wa yuzakkikum and teaching you the book of the hikmah wa yuallimukum al kitaba wal hikmah and teaching you that which you you which you didn't know about it. Why you alli mukumalam takunu ta'alamun before Quran and Sunnah do we know? No. We were in jahaliya, we were ignorant. So Allah sent the Quran and Allah sent the role model as Prophet وسلم, and taught us Faskuruni Askurkum Vashkuruli Wala Takfurun. Remember me, Faskuruni, remember me, remember Allah. I will remember you as Kurukum. Vashkuru li and be grateful to me and never be ungrateful to me. Don't be ungrateful. So Prophet said, Allah says, whoever remembers me to himself, I will remember him to myself. And whoever remember me in gathering, I will remember him in a better gathering. So here, like how we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we read Quran, we do the zikr, we do the salah, like privately, right? And sometimes we do the zikr publicly in, in front of family. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We say, Alhamdulillah, I'm so thankful Allah has given me. Alhamdulillah is what? Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And publicly also, like, you know, right now, you're listening to this lecture, you're understanding. That is also publicly. It can be bayan, it can be halakha, it can be Quranic teaching, all those things. The meaning of salah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, salah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, salah means that he praises his servant before the angels and Bukhari recorded from Abu al alia and this is recorded by Anas also. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says salah means mercy. So it may be said that there is no contradiction between these two views and Allah knows best. So salah from the angels means their supplication, their dua and seeking forgiveness for the people as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the ayah uh, i'm going to read the translation for that those who bear the throne and those around it glorify the praise of their lord this is in surah number 40 ayah number 7 and 9 and believe in him and ask forgiveness for those who believe our lord you comprehend all things in mercy and knowledge so forgive those who repent and follow your way and save them from the torment of the blazing fire. Our Lord, make them enter the Adan garden which you have promised them. And to the righteous among their fathers, their wives and their offspring. Verily, you are almighty, all wise and save them from the sins. So they are asking forgiveness and saving from the torment. Rabbana wa adkhil jannati adnin allati. They are asking to enter them in the Jannah. And before that, what they are asking? They are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yusabbihuna bihamdihi. And they are asking, وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِلَّذِينَ amanu. They are asking istighfar, forgiveness for the people who believe. Allazina amanu. And Allah is so merciful. Such a beautifully mentioned here. And he may bring you out from the darknesses into light. 
لِيُخْرِجَكُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ We were in the darknesses before Islam. But after Islam, how we change? When we start reading Quran, we understand Quran, we implement Quran, the darknesses will be removed. The light will come. Light of the Quran, light of the, you know, uh, importance of doing uh, like do's and don'ts according to Quran Sunnah means by means of his mercy towards you his praise of you and the supplication of his angels for you he brings you forth from the darknesses of the ignorance and misguidance, misguidance into the light of the guidance and certain faith and he is ever most merciful to the believers means in this world and the hereafter. In this world, he guides them to truth of which others are ignorant. And he shows them the path from which others have gone astray. So those who call for disbelief and innovation and their followers among the wrongdoers, his mercy towards them in the hereafter means that he will save them from the great terror. Terror of what? of the day of resurrection and will command his angels malaika to greet them greet them like you know salam with the glad tidings of jannah paradise and saving from the hellfire salvation from the fire which will only be because of his love for them and his kindness towards them so imam ahmad recorded that Amaz, anas may allah be pleased with him said the messenger of Allah and a group of his companions, may Allah be pleased with them, passed by a young child in the road. When his mother saw the people, she feared that her child may be crushed by the crowd. This is normal, like you know how mother is caring for the children. So she rushed forward and crying, my son, my son. And she ran and picked him up. And the people said, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she would never throw her child in the fire. So the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, convincingly said, No, and Allah will not throw his beloved in the fire. So how a mother loves not to throw in the fire. So we, are we concerned about our children when we are not waking them up for the Fajr, when they are uh, missing their Salah, are we reminding them? Because you remember the ayah, why they are uh, thrown in the hellfire? Because they were not praying. So we have to understand that, you know, in uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, it is recorded from Umar bin Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, that the messenger of Allah saw a woman, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, among the prisoners of war. So, picking up her child, clasping the child to her breast and nursing him. So, the messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Do you think that this woman would throw her child into the fire? This is another narration. The previous also I told you, this is another. Uh, into the fire, even though she is physically able to do so. They said, no, la. The messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, by Allah, Allah is more merciful towards his servant than his woman is to her child. Can you imagine Allah's one mercy in this world? So how merciful is Allah? And Allah is more merciful than the mother, 70 times more. So Allah will not punish you until unless we do mistake, we do sinful act. But Allah is giving us time to ask forgiveness, to do the tawbah, regret remorse and not are not to repeat those things whether uh, like you know uh, not uh, praying or not uh, treating good with your uh, relatives and family so allah is giving us chance so we should amend our things we should rectify our mistakes so here uh, the greetings tahiyya to whom yawmal yalqawnahu salam their greeting on the day they shall meet him with salam so greeting will be salam, not hi, hello. Greet with salam in this world also. Because as-salam alaykum wa rahmatullahi barakatuh. As-salam is a peace, dua. And it has meaning. And this greeting will be in this world and also in the hereafter. 
to apparent meaning and allah knows best is that their greeting from allah on that day they meet him will be salam he will greet them with salam and he says salamun qawlan mir rabbi rabbi rahim surah number 36 ayah number 58 so it will be said to them salam a word from the lord the most merciful qatada claimed that the meaning was that they would greet one another with assalamu alaikum on the day when they meet allah in the hereafter and this is like a uh, ayah number 10 surah number 10 da'uhum fiha subhanakallahumma wa tahiyyatuhum fiha salamun so the their way of request there will be a glory to you allah and salam will be their greeting and their in and the close of their request will be and all praises and alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin all praises is due to allah the lord of all that existed so wa adda lahum ajran karima and he has prepared for them a generous reward means paradise and everything in it of food drink clothing dwelling physical pleasure luxuries delightful scenes such as no eyes has ever seen no ear has ever heard has never entered the mind of man you know this dunya is not complete jannah is the ultimate whether you talk about food when we get some fruits or something the cook didn't cook properly when we get from a certain restaurant or certain fruit like you know there can be something lacking but not in the jannah drink how uh, like uh, how much you try to make good something must be missing same thing about the clothing dwellings houses places uh, your pleasure luxuries everything something or the other lacking but what about the jannah jannah is ultimate and complete so what we learn today surah al ahzab ayah number 41 if we learn ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o you who have believed uskuru allah zikran kaseera remember allah with much remember and i am 42 wasabbihu bukratan wasila and exalt him in the morning and in the afternoon meaning make zikr afternoon evening why to show gratitude shukar gratitude towards allah and make zikr in different ways through your salah through your recitation of the quran through your tasbihat all of this are azkar learning the quran teaching the quran reciting the quran all of this is the part of the zikr so why remember allah much because his favor are so favors are so many so our zikr also should be kaseera lot ibn abbas radhiyallahu anhu said that no person can be excused for leaving zikr except for the person who whose intellect has been overcome yani they don't understand meaning a person for example is sleeping or a person is you know unwell or you know because of different reasons people mind is not working at certain time only that person is exempted sometimes you are engrossed in work and sometimes you are engrossed in something you are not able to understand or take it that time also as soon as you realize you go and do the wudu and start doing your sala isn't it that is the thing that will enlighten your heart and give you peace so otherwise as long as a person is awake and conscious yani they must make zikr of allah and notice how there is no limit of zikr there is no maximum amount because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said zikr and kaseera which means that no matter how much zikr you do there is always more zikr that you can do and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam loved to do zikr we learn in the hadith that to say subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar is more beloved to me than anything over which the sun rises yani these words are more beloved to me than anything in this world and what we learn about a number 43 huwa allazi yusalli alaykum it is he who confers blessing upon you and his angels ask him to do so that he may bring you out from the darknesses into the light and ever is he to the believer 
merciful and i number 44 their greetings the day they meet him will be salam and he has prepared for them a noble reward so we all should do salam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh jazakallah khairan kaseera subhanak allahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka